Hey Bears, what's going on? Welcome back to Bubby's Fat Loss. Uh, I'm just gonna pull up my workout real quick. So today's Tuesday. So it was my uh, powerlifting session for squats and it didn't go as well as I wanted it to, but honestly, it's fine. Typically when I cut, I'm, I know that my squat strength and my deadlift strength especially uh, suffer a lot compared to my bench strength. So my bench strength typically stays relatively the same. Uh, maybe like a five to 10 pound difference. But when I cut, my squat strength and my deadlift strength suffer huge losses, like 40 to 50 pound differences. And so I tried to bite off a little bit more than I could chew today. So I decided to back off a little bit. But in any case, uh, my weigh in for today was at right around 96.8 to 9 so below that 97 kilogram mark which is very nice but still not as low as I want it to be but we'll continue moving forward and so I actually decided to switch it back up to fasted cardio in the morning and then afterwards, uh, get a breakfast in, rest, digest, take my pre-workout, and then hit a lift. So I'm no longer hitting fasted lifts. I feel like the benefits of the fasted lift, they just don't outweigh the cons in a way. So I feel like it's just a waste of my time, really. But uh, anyway, let's talk about the workout for today. So the first exercise was the high bar squat. I wanted to do a three by three, but uh, because I went a little bit too hard, I was only able to get a three by two. So three sets of two reps. The first set was at 160 kilograms and I got two reps there. I realized that that was gonna be way too heavy for me for today. So I went down to 150 kilograms, got two reps there and decided that I should probably just do a three by two instead. So I did the next set also at 150 kilograms and did two reps there. I did back off sets for the high bar squat, uh, four sets of six, still going heavy, uh, relatively heavy, basically just decreasing the weight by 25 kilograms. And uh, yeah, this actually moved pretty well. I'm pretty happy with the, the explosiveness and the power here, uh, the six reps per set felt pretty good across the board. It didn't really feel anything harder than an RP7. <clears throat> Which leads me to assume that I just didn't take enough time to warm up for my heavy sets. And so next week for my squat day, I will probably take a little bit more time to warm up. Third exercise was the front squat, four sets of eight. I went for 75 kilograms per set, uh, just cause I did a lot of heavy squatting already. So I didn't want to fail any reps. So I kept it pretty light at 75 kilograms. I like that I'm hitting parallel pretty much perfectly here. Uh, for, for me, front squatting, it's just so much easier to get into the hole. Like front squatting just feels so much better for me. But again, like, my strength on the front squat is not nearly as good as my strength for the regular squatting, but in any case, I do like using front squats to really hit those quads really hard. So after the front squatting, I went on to the Smith Machine squat. Uh, I call these double taps. So basically, I do one full rep, go up halfway, go back down into the hole, and then complete the rep. And yeah, if you don't do these, try them out. They're really good at giving you a nice burn, really increasing that time under tension. And so I did 35 kilograms. So keeping the weight very, very, very light, uh, really just focusing on that time under tension and trying to get a nice pump going. I did four sets of eight to 10 reps and each set pretty much felt about the same. It was pretty killer if I'm going to be honest. Afterwards, I did some leg press. 
three sets of 10 at 100 kilograms. I didn't want to go too heavy because I, one, I'm already increasing the volume a lot this week. And two, my legs were already pretty dead from all the squatting I did. So decided to just keep it pretty light. <laughs> Afterwards, I did some leg extensions, four sets of 10 to 15 reps, starting out at 110 pounds, working up to a top set of 140 pounds. And I pretty much got into that 12 to 15 rep range, to be honest, for each set. Uh, but towards the end, I did get really, really gassed, so. I was going to do some reverse lunges next, uh, three sets of 10, but I decided to cut that out because I was already feeling like I was doing way too much volume. So I wanted to get my legs a break. And so I finished out the workout with some calf raises, uh, four sets of 10 to 15 reps with uh, 50 kilograms. And then moved on into some leg lifts, uh, six sets of 10 for leg lifts and three sets each for a Bayesian curl and a tricep extension. And so immediately following a leg lift set, I would do either the bicep or tricep workout, three sets plus three sets, six sets. So basically I supersetted every single leg lift set and that felt pretty good on my abs. Uh, I think I'm getting a better mind-muscle connection to my abs, which is really important because I never really did direct ab work uh, since powerlifting was really my main focus for a long time. So my core was, has always been strong, but uh, I haven't really developed a good solid mind-muscle connection to them. Hopefully by the end of this month, uh, that'll change. Isabel, stop barking. Stop it. No. Sorry, I have to be really stern with her when she starts barking like that. Every single time she hears anybody in the hallway, she just goes crazy. So I don't want people to complain about the noise. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that was that was it for today. Doing faster cardio in the morning feels a lot better for me. I'm still on the bike. I'm still doing an hour. But uh, the amount of calories I burn is a lot less because uh, my resting heart rate is so much lower uh, straight away in the morning than it is normally at the end of the day. So there's not as much uh, blood pumping throughout my body. But in any case, I think it's going to be a lot better for me in the long run. Uh, I do think that having some fuel, having some food in me and digesting it properly for a heavy lifting session will benefit me a lot more in the long run. Uh, it will give me a better workout overall and increase the intensity and my strength output for each session. So that's it. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section down below and I will address those. If you want to get into online coaching, please email me at thebarbellbear at gmail.com. That email is listed in the description below. Before you leave, don't forget to like the video and click subscribe so you don't miss future videos. It would mean a lot to me if you guys would subscribe to the channel and share the good word of what I'm doing here. A lot of exciting things to come in the future after this month is over, so look forward to that. Anyway, that's all I got for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.